Hey everybody, welcome back to Podcast Edge. My name's Bandrew and I am back with another microphone test video for you guys. Today I am testing out this guy or this guy. It is the Zalman ZM Mic 1 as requested by our viewer, the Video Archive. And I know he's not the only one who has requested this. I've gotten quite a few requests for this, so yeah. Zalman ZM Mic 1. So this is kind of like a lavalier mic, but it's designed to clip onto a headphone cable rather than your shirt. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at this. And if you are interested in it, it will set you back about seven bucks on Amazon. And I'll throw a link in the video description down below. So in this little box package thing, all you're getting is this microphone that has about a 10 foot cable attached to it. And as per usual, I have to throw this disclaimer in there, even though people don't pay attention, I am plugging this into the Sabrent USB audio adapter which provides about four and a half volts to the microphone. So if you buy this microphone, plug it into your computer directly, and you are not getting the same results, it's most likely because the microphone is not getting the same voltage. So keep that in mind when you're buying it. That's how I'm setting it up. That's probably going to be the answer I give you in the comment section when people still inevitably ask me the question. So the build quality on this thing is decent. It's a typical rubber cable. Uh, it feels kind of cheap, like it'll break. It's, it's just your typical rubber microphone or headphone cable. This little clip up here is a little bit sturdier plastic, but I still feel like it would break after a bit of usage. And then lastly, these little nubs on here are designed to clip the microphone cable to your headphone cable. And they feel like cheap, cheap rubber, cheap plastic that will break as well. But keep in mind, this is a $7 microphone, so I don't know what you would be expecting in terms of build quality. Unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of clipping this to the headphone cable because as you move around, the microphone's gonna move around a bit and it's gonna probably give you inconsistent audio. So what I would recommend is if you are determined on buying this microphone, just find a way to clip it to your shirt or something like that so you get more consistent audio. It doesn't move around from the sound source. And as I said, this is a 3.5 millimeter cable and I just have it plugged into the Sabrent USB audio adapter and there are no settings on this thing. There's no knobs, there's no buttons. It's just the microphone with the cable cable attached to it. These are the specifications that are provided and I just want to point out the main thing on here. This is an omnidirectional microphone. So if you are one of those people who do not have a treated room and you're worried about room noise, this is not gonna be a microphone for you, just like no omnidirectional mic is gonna be the mic for you because you're gonna hate the fact that it picks up noise in every direction. To get this point across, here I am, I'm just talking and banging on the keyboard uh, quite loudly, and this is not a mechanical keyboard, so this is a relatively quiet keyboard, and I'm sure you can still hear how much noise this microphone is picking up from the keyboard. So overall, it's a decent sounding microphone for seven bucks, but I feel like the people that would be buying this are gamers, and they're gonna think, oh wow, there's too much room noise, I hate this microphone, it's a bad microphone, when in all actuality, it's a decent microphone, it just doesn't fit the needs that you have. So in all actuality, I probably wouldn't recommend this microphone because you can get a three pack of Neewer Lavalier mics that are omnidirectional as well for about six or seven bucks. So you can get three of them, and they actually have clips so you can clip them to your shirt and not have to worry about it falling off like this. So I wouldn't recommend the Zalman ZM Mic 1. I'd recommend the newer Lavalier Mics and I'll throw a link to them in the video description as well. All right guys, well I guess that will do it. I know it's a short video today, but there's really just nothing to talk about on this microphone. I've done all the testing that I could think of. Uh, if you do have any more questions about it, leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability as soon as I can. And if you are interested in this microphone or the newer Lav Mics that I mentioned, I'll throw links to both of them in the video description down below. If you found the video fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked and you think I should die, give me a big old thumbs down. And if you want more of these videos, click subscribe by clicking the logo in the corner. And I will see you all on Sunday, I think. So yeah, I'll talk to you all then. Thanks for watching. Bye.